Hello guys, I'm Dehyan. Welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to review the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. But the Pro variant is this the best device to buy under the price of fifteen thousand rupees? What are its pros? What are its cons? I have been using this device for almost a month, so I know almost everything about this device. Plus, we'll also discuss which color variant to buy, which RAM variant to buy. Is six GB RAM worth it, or is Chinese variant better than Indian variant, which is launched in Indian market? Everything about the Redmi Note 5 will be discussed in this video, and that's why the title says. Watch this video before you buy the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without further delay, let's get started. After that amazing intro, let's talk about the cameras on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. Xiaomi has always struggled with their cameras on the Xiaomi Redmi series. Redmi Note 3, Redmi Note 4 had amazing performance, great battery life, amazing display, but cameras were okay. -ish. Whereas Redmi Note 5 Pro is having dual camera setup similar to iPhone 10. I mean, it looks similar to iPhone 10. 12 megapixel primary sensor which captures normal photos and 5 megapixel secondary sensor to measure the depth data so that you can get best portrait shots out of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. These are some of the sample shots that you are seeing on screen right now. When pictures are clicked in broad daylight, details are there and pictures do look nice. Even though I do feel that when you edit those pictures and add little bit of saturation by using Snapseed application on which I have already made guides, those guides will be linked in the i button over here. The pictures look much better when it comes to camera on a smartphone. The most important thing for me personally is the amount of detail that it can keep. And when it comes to good lighting conditions, Redmi Note 5 Pro was very good at that. I can go a step ahead and say that when it comes to normal day lighting conditions, I would rather prefer the camera of Redmi Note 5 Pro instead of Mi A1, which is another camera-centric phone that Xiaomi had launched. When it comes to low light camera performance, Redmi Note 5 Pro surprised me there too. Here is a comparison between Mi A1 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro in low lighting conditions. You can clearly see that the pictures clicked with Redmi Note 5 Pro are much much better as compared to Mi A1. A lot of detail is kept plus the pictures are not as grainy as other devices available in the same price range like Redmi Note 5, Honor 7X, Honor 9 Lite. The pictures clicked with the Redmi Note 5 Pro are surely much better as compared to any other device present in the same price range. When it comes to front-facing camera, Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro has a 20 megapixel camera, and I'm pretty much sure that they were going to compete against Oppo and Vivo because those devices are heavily marketed as selfie-centric devices and all those things. And I can surely say, after using Vivo V7, that camera on the Redmi Note 5 Pro is much better as compared to Vivo V7. These are some of the sample shots that have clicked with the front-facing camera of Redmi Note. 5 Pro and I was very happy with the camera performance of this device. Not only this but portrait mode selfies are present in this device without using two cameras. So Xiaomi themselves are using one camera in the front facing department to get that portrait mode which works super fine as you can see on the screen right now but they are using two cameras at the back side to get the portrait mode working. I mean like that 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 can be a little confusing when you can do the work without using the second camera but anyways Front facing camera was surprisingly good. If you are into selfie game, Redmi Note 5 Pro is one of the best devices to go with. In my opinion, Mi A1 performs little better as compared to Redmi Note 5 Pro when it comes to portrait mode. But you can get the job done on the Redmi Note 5 Pro very easily. I'm going to give nine out of ten points to the camera on the Redmi Note 5 Pro because I was totally surprised by the camera performance on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, which has been the weakest link of Redmi phones till 2018, and it is not anymore. At least on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. After this now let's talk about the build quality for the price of 14000 rupees this device does look a lot premium plus the camera bump is similar to iPhone 10 so your friends are going to pass comments like iPhone 10 ka copy li and all those stuff but when it comes to me personally i prefer to have a good device which i can hold confidently in my hand instead of having a copy of some other device and the Redmi Note 5 Pro is very comfortable to hold in hand due to its 18 by 9 display which makes the device taller but not much wider and that's why you feel more confident to hold this device in hand plus the buttons are tactile and feel clicky when you click them not only this the camera bump is 
actually a bump if you do not use the case with this device it is going to wobble on the table but the case is provided in the box and i'm pretty much sure that 99 percent of redmi note 5 pro users are going to use the case which is provided in the box one sad thing with the redmi note 5 pro is that it is still having plastic at top and at the bottom of the device even though I can pass on this one. When it comes to build quality, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to review one point because it is having camera bump similar to iPhone 10. So, yeah. Sound quality on the Redmi Note 5 Pro was much better as compared to Redmi Note 3 and the Redmi Note 4. That's quite an improvement in my opinion and it performs very good when it comes to speaker quality and I found myself using the speaker on the Redmi Note 5 Pro instead of using headphones when I was at home. When it comes to headphone jack quality, that's also pretty satisfying and you won't really face any type of issues with that. But when it comes to comparison with Mi Evan, obviously Mi Evan outperforms the Redmi Note 5 Pro because it is having a dedicated DAC which is like mind blowing and it drives my Sennheiser HD 598 SE much better as compared to Redmi Note 5 Pro. Redmi Note 5 Pro is the first device to launch with Snapdragon 636 processor and the device also comes with 4GB of RAM. When it comes to raw performance, I did not face any major issues. Day to day life performance was extremely good when it comes to opening up applications and multitasking tests. The Redmi Note 5 Pro 4GB RAM variant was very good when it comes to normal day to day applications. It can keep 10 to 15 applications running in the background easily like normal applications like Twitter, Facebook and other basic applications but when it comes to heavy games I actually did a dedicated comparison between 4GB RAM variant and the 6GB RAM variant which will be linked in the i button over here by the way. 4GB RAM variant did struggle when it comes to loading 5 games at the same time but I don't think so that any one of you is going to load 5 games at the same time and going to switch between them and for that particular reason I'm going to say that 4GB RAM variant is the one to go with because the 6GB RAM version will cost you 3000 rupees extra and I would have paid that price but the internal storage is 64GB with the 4GB RAM variant and it's 64GB once again with the 6GB RAM variant. So I'm going to say if you have the budget of around 14 to 15,000 rupees, do not put extra 2,000 rupees to buy the 6GB RAM variant. Go ahead and buy the 4GB RAM variant which is linked in the description box below. Redmi Note 4 with Snapdragon 625 remained cool overall. Even if you do gaming for 15 to 20 minutes, the device did remain cool. But when it comes to Snapdragon 636 processor on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, the device does become warm. Let me be clear, the device becomes warm, it's not overheating. I hope I'm clear, it's not overheating, the device does become warm. Gaming performance with Qualcomm Snapdragon processor has always been good and Snapdragon 636 is having the flagship cryo chip. So, oh my god, it is obviously good on the Redmi Note 5 Pro 2. You can throw any game at this device and it will perform extremely good at that game. So I can surely say that if you are Android gamer, then Redmi Note 5 Pro is a good device for you. After this, now let's talk about the battery life on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. 4000 mAh battery on this device performs like a 4000 mAh battery. And uh, I did get 5 to 6 hours of screen on time continuously with my moderate to heavy usage. When I use the device very heavily, like playing lots of games and things like that, the screen on time dropped to around 4 hours, which is very respectable. And I think when it comes to battery life, Redmi Note 5 Pro is going to be the champ of 2018. None of the flagship devices that I have used come anywhere close to the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So if battery life is in top of your priority list, then Redmi Note 5 Pro is the device to go with. I have one request to Narendra Modi ji and uh, Amit Shah ji as they are in power right now that ban all those devices which are launched with Android Nougat in 2018 man. Like this device is launched in 2018. Uh, before that, the Android Nougat was launched in 2016. Android Oreo was launched in 2017. Android P Preview was launched few days back and the device, this device was launched in 2018 with Android Nougat based on MIUI 9. I don't see a point of launching a device with Android Nougat because you had so much time to play around with Android Oreo and considering the specifications that it is having like Snapdragon 636, 4GB of RAM and other things, I think this device should have launched with Android Oreo but that's not the case, I can't really do anything. But the good news here is that the Chinese variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro is launched with Android Oreo 8.1 based on MIUI 9 obviously. So 8.1 will be coming to the Redmi Note 5 Pro pretty soon but I was a little bit disappointed. When it comes to overall software, MIUI skin on this device is heavily customizable. You can customize a ton of things in this device. And if you are someone who likes to customize their device, then Redmi Note 5 Pro is the device to go with. You may not enjoy the Moto G6 because you won't be able to customize boot animation or you won't be able to customize the status bar without 
downloading any third party application or without rooting the device but you can do that on the redmi note 5 pro without rooting the device so that's why miui 9 on this device can be a total hit for someone or a total miss if you are a stock android fan and if you are a stock android fan then maybe uh, don't buy the redmi note 5 pro because it is having miui 9 but if you are comfortable in flashing roms then you should buy the Redmi Note 5 Pro because Redmi Note 5 Pro is going to be great when it comes to custom ROM development as Redmi Note 3 and Redmi Note 4 were one of the best, like literally one of the best devices when it comes to flashing custom ROMs. And once developers start porting ROMs for the Redmi Note 5 Pro, this device is going to get a lot of ROMs and a lot of stable AOSP ROMs. So at that time, if you prefer stock Android, you can flash custom ROMs on this device and get those working and uh, everything will work fine. So when it comes to XDR ROM development, I'm going to say if you are interested in that, then Redmi Note 5 Pro will be or ideally should be a good device for that purpose. Not only this, when it comes to Volti or call quality, this device did not struggle and uh, the call quality via the earpiece was good. The earpiece is loud enough, Volti did not struggle much. There are multiple ways by which you can unlock this device. First of all, you can input your pattern like this and the device will get unlocked. Second thing, you can keep your finger over here and the device will get unlocked immediately. So yes, the fingerprint sensor is one of the fastest that I've used in the same price range. It is really good to see such a fast fingerprint sensor on this device. It is not as fast as OnePlus 5 or 5T. Do not get your expectations to why. Obviously, the device, that particular device will cost you double as compared to Redmi Note 5 Pro. And this device also has a face unlock feature. So just unlock your device like this. Look at the device and the device should get unlocked. It is not getting unlocked. Yeah, it did get unlocked now. So face unlock feature is present, which is not perfect as of now on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I have made a dedicated video on that, which will be linked in the i button over here. Plus. The face unlock feature is useful. At times it unlocks my device without me wanting to update the device. I just want to look at the screen or the lock screen or notifications. And sometimes even if I keep the device like this, it won't, it won't get unlocked, but this time it got unlocked. So face unlock is kind of hit or miss as of now. But if you prefer to use that, then you can go ahead and use it. One thing which I like about Xiaomi, which Samsung doesn't do, is that they add all the sensors in their device. And this Redmi Note 5 Pro has all the sensors like gyroscope sensor, compass sensor, flashlight, ambient sensor. Everything is present on this device, which is a good thing. But I do have something to note here. In uh, little remote locations where the internet is not working perfectly fine, the GPS did struggle a little bit on this device. This issue can be fixed with software updates and I have seen devices becoming better with software update when it comes to GPS performance. So I expect Xiaomi to fix that if someone from Xiaomi is watching this video, maybe work on the GPS location thing. <laughs> but all the other sensors are present, which is a nice thing. After this, now let's talk about whether you should import the device from China as the Chinese variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro has f1.9 aperture. 13 megapixel camera, quick charge 3.0 support, and Android Oreo. Uh, obviously, when it comes to camera, that particular Chinese variant is going to perform better in low lighting conditions as the pixel size is bigger, plus it is f1.9. But I personally think that if you import the device from China, it will cost you around 15,000 rupees plus customs. And customs can be 2,000 rupees or they can be 5,000 rupees or 10,000 rupees too. So this is where it becomes confusing. Do you want to invest 22,000 rupees for a device which is worth 14,000 rupees just to get that little camera upgrade? I personally wouldn't do that. I would rather go with the Redmi Note 5 Pro which is present in India to save money. Plus it doesn't seem logical to me to import that device to India. If you are visiting China, then getting that device to India sounds good to me. But I am not going to China. So I would rather buy this device which is present over here. After this, now let's talk about which is the best color to buy when it comes to Redmi Note 5 Pro. Gold color, black color and also the blue color which I don't have here right now but I have also used the blue color. I personally think that the black color looks the best and as it is one of the best colors to buy, it is going to be in demand. And this device is available in flash sales meaning the black color will be in demand meaning everyone will be buying the black color instead of golden and blue and that will result in this device going out of stock immediately and you won't be able to buy this device in the first flash sale itself. I have been trying to buy this device since last three flash sales and I was not able to buy this device so <laughs> and if you are not able to buy this device in flash sales visit me homes which are available in bigger cities like Mumbai, Delhi and Chennai, Hyderabad I guess 
if you visit those me homes you can ask those guys when the redmi note 5 pro is coming in stock if it's coming in stock let's assume tomorrow visit the me home early morning on that day and get the redmi note 5 pro it will go out of stock on those me homes too within few hours so do take a note of that and i personally think that this is one of the best devices to buy under the price of 15000 rupees very good camera setup very good fingerprint sensor a very good display too i did not talk about the display which is 5.99 inches almost 6 inches of display but it is 18 by 9 display meaning it is taller as i mentioned earlier and the display quality is very good outdoor visibility is also very good for the price of 14000 rupees viewing angles were also great in this device couple of downsides which are present with this device is that it is available in flash sales this is one of the biggest downside of this device i hope that xiaomi launches redmi note 6 pro or redmi note 6 without flash sales in india pretty soon there are a lot of black marketers and do not pay any extra money to get this device like 500 or 1000 rupees it's not worth paying extra to you can wait for few days and you will end up getting the redmi note 5 pro second thing the device has android nougat as i mentioned earlier and i hope that it gets the android 8.1 update pretty soon not only this i do want to mention this in the redmi note 5 pro review that i am waiting for the moto g6 to be launched as early as possible on moto g6 plus because redmi note 5 pro is not having any type of competition as of now so yeah i'm waiting for that and uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel then click on the red subscribe button which is present down below to get subscribed because many more awesome videos like this are going to come real soon on the channel and i will be making many more videos on the redmi note 5 pro so if you have this device don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this review video then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let's see if we can reach 5000 likes on this video is that possible so let's do that if you still have any more doubts suggestions or queries regarding the redmi note 5 pro which i did not answer in this video then do let me know about that in the comment section box below i'll be more than glad to answer those so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching